Welcome back everyone! With the passing of the first quarter of 2022, Kamo Sanaba finances niyo. Alam naman, money matters and can really buy us the freedom to do the things that we want and give us more opportunities in the future. Kung hindi pa kayo updated guys, then stay tuned because today we have the latest news on how to invest like a pro kahit beginner na lang. Joining us on today's program, we have again a returning guest, Miss Ariana Epperson, to go and share her thoughts on the matter. <laughs> Grabe guys, ang saya naman dito. Thank you again so much for having me on the show again. Once again, I'm Ariana Epperson. So in the last guest thing ko, I actually explained how I was able to start my online business through saving and investing. But if you're not sure on where to begin, then I have three tips on how to begin investing for beginners. My number one tip, every peso counts. Like, oh my god, I want to know how many pesos I have seen in my condo, like lying around my condo, wherever I am. And I'm excited, talaga ako, guys, because I know that literally every peso counts. This is something that I've been doing since I was a kid that was taught to me by my parents, was that I should save up my coins. And over the past few months of living here in my condo, I've put away so many coins. So yung mga coins ito, galing to sa like change from when I buy something. This is for when I like find loose change lying around. And anytime I have barya, I just like to put it away. So I have this vase. I know it looks like a plant vase, but listen closely. So every time I come home and someone bigat na yung wallet go from all the coins I'm carrying, I stick them here. So what I do is I keep all my coins. Like you have no idea how many fives and tens I have here, and you don't realize how much it adds up. I swear, but over the last few months, it's over like three thousand pesos in just coins. And I know that that money can be like brought to the bank, and you can have them change it to bills, para di naman hassle, diba? And that money can be used into putting into my investments. You know, you always think I ten pesos here, five pesos there, pero at the end of the day, di mo realize that you've already saved up so much. So for some of the money that I find or that I earn, I put away a percentage of it into my savings and another percentage of it into my investments. So my tip number two is to diversify your investments. Diba? They say not to put all your eggs in one basket. Well, true naman yun, guys, because you really have to diversify your investments so that your money can grow in different places. I do invest in one place, but this place allows me to invest in different kinds of funds. So it's like an all-in-one thing. It's actually through G-Invest on the Gcash app. I love it because my reminder feature, Sha, so I never forget to put away funds after a certain amount of time and to stick a few of what I've saved up into my investments. If you want, you can actually check out my last video for a more in-depth guide on how I use G-Invest and where I've put in my funds. Super easy talaga guys mag G-Invest because you can start investing for as low as 50 pesos. And all you need really is a verified Gcash account which requires one valid ID. And my third tip on how to start your investment journey is to keep track of your money. I love that I can easily monitor my investments on G Invest. You guys, lam kana man minsan sobra mahirap talaga to keep track of your income, your payments, but this is the time to be organized, I swear. What I like to do is use a money tracker or even write down in a journal for how much I make every month and what I spend my money on. It's tedious but it will really be enlightening. And grab it, I realized that so much of my money goes to iced coffee. I'm sure it's not just me. <laughs> it's not just me. Like imagine, mga 100 to 150 pesos each iced coffee. And let's say I have one every day on the weekdays, five a week. That's like more than 500 pesos a week. That's over two to 3,000 pesos a month in just coffee. Crazy. <laughs> And imagine coffee lang yun. So if I were to even lessen my coffee intake by half, or start making my own coffee at home because it's cheaper, I could save 1,500 to 2,000 pesos a month. Alam naman guys, 1,500 pesos can go a long way. It can go into your investments and it can work towards your future. Just don't drink so much coffee. <laughs> 
But again, nga guys, by tracking your money, you can be more responsible in handling your funds, your earnings, your income, your investments. And I swear, it'll be super worth it in the future. You, your future self will thank you for it. And that's it for my three tips, guys. Sana may natutunan kayo from it. And I hope you have a wonderful investment journey coming up. And don't forget, guys, to download the GCash app and try out G-Invest para ma-unlock mo ang life goals mo within a push of a button. Once again, it's me, Ariane, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you again for having me on the show, Paul. Bye!